Well, hello friends, it's Amy Ferlici at the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio, and today I want to share with you a beautiful new card featuring lots and lots of new product from our next annual catalog. This is product from the 2020-2021 Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog. So if you do not have a copy of our most current annual catalog, let me know. I would be happy to send a catalog out to you. Lots and lots of awesome new things to play with in here, like the, the gorgeous Forever Greenery suite of products. So you can see my favorite is this designer series paper. Look at all of the beautiful shades of green. And the fun thing there actually, if I can kind of zoom right in there, right? You can see they actually give you all of the colors of coordinating cardstock, ink, ribbon, anything that you would like to um, kind of coordinate with that designer series paper are all listed right there. And then check out all of these gorgeous pro uh, projects featuring that forever greenery suite, right? Isn't it beautiful? I am having so much fun with this suite of products. And for example, we are going to use the Forever Fern stamp set that is in this suite. And there are some great sentiments too, like love and laughter forever after, hello, you can do this, and to a friend that makes me smile. And then lots of beautiful kind of fern imagery. And then of course, all of these that are kind of highlighted mean that there are dyes. They are called the forever flourishing dyes that cut all of those images out. So we're gonna actually use that stamp set and the dies on our project today. As you can kind of see, we used the uh, Forever Greenery Designer Series paper right there, and then the stamps and the dies all right there. So let's go ahead and get started. I wanna show you how quick, simple, and easy this beautiful card is to make. Just some die cutting, but simple stamping and die cutting. Okay, so let me, I'm gonna give you measurements first of all, actually. Um, oh, you know, let's peek at these dies though too. So here you can see there are are a bunch of dies that cut out the images right in the stamp set as you can see there and then some kind of complementary dies as well we used actually both of those on our card and then we've got some other little um, leaves and things down there as well okay so measurements and colors and just so you know in the details below this YouTube video are all of the product um, item codes that we used on these car on this card today okay uh, so you don't have to search for, for example, this is crumb cake cardstock. So I give you that item code right in the details along with everything else we use on this project. Okay, so we have our crumb cake cardstock, a full sheet of cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it in half at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, right? For a nice crisp fold on our card front, okay? Then we have a piece of, let's get that out of the way, pear pizzazz cardstock that layers right on there. This piece measures four and one quarter by three and three quarter inches. So that then we have a piece of that Forever Greenery Designer Series paper. You can see the pretty ferns on the back there. You have to check out this paper. It is beautiful. Um, this piece measures four inches by three and a half inches. And that is just gonna layer right on there. And then I basically have scraps of garden green, crumb cake, and some very vanilla to do our die cutting and stamping on. Okay, so let's do our stamping and then we will do our die cutting. Okay, so I'm going to grab, I loved this color combination too, really soft, pretty colors, the Rococo Rose. We're going to open this one up first. Okay, so nice, easy, tap, 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 as always. We're going to press straight down and lift straight up. And look at, there's something about, I don't even know what these are. Um, you guys can probably tell me, right? But I love that stamp. I, I love the shading too, the dark and the light. I just think it's so neat that Stampin' Up! is able to create that kind of a look with a stamp too. And I didn't press, you know, I pressed the same firmness, I guess. Um, and that's what comes out, right? So it's all about the stamp. So this one is Pear Pizzazz ink. Press straight down, lift straight up. 
and again kind of the detail in that leaf as well look at it. it's like we shaded it we colored it and we didn't it's just the stamp so beautiful i want to check and see we're doing some distinctive it is yeah um all of a sudden i thought maybe it is a distinctive stamp so can you see that little green medallion right there that says distinctive that basically means that there's more kind of shading in um, the stamps those light and dark effects which clearly you can see on those stamps right there okay and then we're going to stamp our sentiment we did this one in garden green ink so we're going to open that baby up this may be upside down but it's okay because we're going to die cut it Let's put it right on there. Oh, I did it right. I really wasn't sure, but like I said, it doesn't matter if you stamp it upside down in this case, because we're just gonna cut it. Um, okay, so let's do our die cutting now. We're gonna scoot things out of the way. We're probably gonna have to crank a couple of times here, because um, I don't know if it's all gonna fit on. We might try and see. So let's see. Okay, so get my platform out here. So we've got those images. Yeah, let's do, let's do these first. Okay, so we need, now where did they go? <laughs> I didn't have them pulled out. Okay, so we need this one right here that's going to go on there. And then this one is going to go on there. Okay, and then from our stitched shapes dies that come in the circles, ovals, and squares are on the back side. We are going to use, let me make sure I can get that one. That is the second smallest stitched shape square. Okay, so let's get these things lined up and hopefully my magnetic platform will um, be nice to me and not fling things around too much. So you guys know this though, right? If they don't line up quite right, you just have to move your paper there's no point in trying to fight the magnetic field, the pull, the magnets. Just move things if you need to. Sorry, we've got some wiggle wiggle going here. Okay, so let's get these guys popped out. So I love the stitching around there, right? To a friend that makes me smile. Okay, and then we've got these little babies. We can just pop those right off of there we're going to scoot these out of the way because then we've got the other leaves that we need to do our die cutting on so let's put those down there so we've got the big set of leaves in garden green and then a little bit smaller in the corn cake okay so these i apologize again for the wiggle wiggle those are really <laughs> it's super tight i'm going to go back and forth though um, because i want to make sure Okay, there, we're done with the wiggle. You guys can look again and see what we've got. See how easy that is? Those things just pop right out of there. And then we're gonna kinda just lift that one up. We've got that one little piece that needs to get pulled out, but so simple and easy there, right? And then hopefully same thing with this one. Yep, there we go. Aren't those so pretty? You could do some fun. I These would be really neat with designer series paper too, with a little, they'd be like variegated leaves. That would be kind of fun as well. Okay, so there's our stamping and die cutting. Now we basically need to put our project together. So we're going to grab some adhesive, and I've got my dimensionals too. We're going to need those. Okay, Get all of our pieces right here. We're going to scoot that kind of up out of the way. I want to make sure I do it right. I have to have it close by. Okay, so we're going to add, oops, there we go. I didn't want to run for a sec. But we're all good there. Okay, so we're going to put that one on there. Let's go ahead and layer this piece. Hmm. I thought I just got a new one. It seems like it's kind of working funny. I think we'll be, hopefully. <laughs> I'm glad that didn't stick too much. I didn't even think about that. Kind of threw me there. It acts like it's at the end of the roll, but it is clearly not. Okay, so since I forgot my um, silicone mat, I am going to use the back of my dimensionals. Oh, apparently there's one stuck on there to add some adhesive. So I liked, there we go. Now it's working. I just wanted to put a little bit down at the bottom of that. Okay, so we're going to put this one and I like that kind of curling up um, on there. There we go. 
And we're gonna layer this one. So that's why I didn't put adhesive all over it. I just kind of put it down at the bottom. I'm gonna put that one on. Next, we are gonna add some adhesive on this one. And actually that, I want to kind of peek out from behind there just a little bit. And then one more with the green leaves. There is something funny with this one. Hmm. Did I break it? You guys, I don't think I've ever done that. Oh my goodness. How did I do that? So, okay, let's see. We'll see if we can get that going again, hopefully. Oh my gosh, I have not, when I had fast fuse that I used a lot, I did that all the time, but I don't know if I've ever done that with a snail. So hopefully we got that going again, all right? Okay, so we're gonna add him in, and I wanna press firmly just down there, and then I like to kind of pull these all up a little bit, right? Just to give it that kind of texture and dimension. Then we are going to, oops, <laughs> everything's sticking everywhere. So now actually I want some of these little, my little baby dimensionals I'm gonna put in the four corners of that little babe, okay? And then I'm also gonna run a strip of, this is our Rococo Rose, the braided linen trim, and I actually have one that I already cut. I made these um, as swap cards, and so I was kind of cutting, 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 and then I realized, oops, I cut an extra strip. So we're just gonna put that one right about there, and then we're gonna peel the backs off of these dimensionals. My fingers aren't working very well today, but you get the idea, right? And I did that because I want the ribbon to kind of run right through the middle there um, so that it doesn't kind of jump up too high. Last final simple step is to add a couple of pearls. When I had made this card, I thought, oh, I feel like it just needs a little something else. And I tend to just grab my pearls and sprinkle them around. So we're just gonna put a few of those pearls right there. And that is it. So you can see how quick, simple, easy, but beautiful with the stamping, the coordinating colors, right? With our garden green cardstock there and the little garden green dots and then the background of Pear Pizzazz with Pear Pizzazz cardstock and Pear Pizzazz ink. And then our Rococo Rose ink with our Rococo Rose ribbon, right? So everything coordinates so beautifully. That is truly one of the best parts about Stampin' Up! products, right? So I hope you all enjoyed this card. I hope you were inspired today. If you are interested in ordering any of the products that we used on this card, like I said, they're in the details below the YouTube video. Just check those out. You can get item codes for everything that we use to make this card. When you go to order, make sure you grab the host code that's on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com because you will automatically receive the two cards that I demonstrate on that week's Facebook Live and your name goes into the weekly Facebook Live drawing when you put at least a $30 online order in. So you can order right on my Stampin' Up! website at amysuzanne.stampinup.net whenever you are ready. Um, so let me know if you guys have have any questions. I hope that you enjoyed this card and you're enjoying the new catalog. If you need a new catalog, let me know. I'd be happy to get one out to you. So thanks for watching today. Bye everybody.